Arma v Derry, two titans of Ulster clash today in Clonus, and in a few hours' time, either Ian Nugent and Ryan O'Neill or Chrissy McKeag will be lifting that Anglo Cell Cup. And just hopefully, it is the Orchard Men. The Orchard Men against the Oakleaf Men. I tell you what, the day is finally here. The Ulster final day has arrived, and well, I'm really excited for it. A sold out uh, St. Chianox Park in Clonus is expected. Plenty of Armagh supporters, plenty of Derry supporters. It's going to be an unreal atmosphere. Hopefully, the weather is clear up because I do know it was raining there for a good bit here. So, hopefully, you know, um, it isn't rainy because we aren't covered uh, for this one today. So, hopefully, we don't get soaked. But anyway, I'm really excited for it. Two brilliant sides clashing. It's definitely going to be a very interesting one. I'm going to leave you waiting for the prediction. Um, I think. I'm going to give you the prediction when I'm in uh, Clonus, so I'll tell you about that's something to wait for there, and I'll see you all then, down in Clonus. Here we are then. Final lead up to Clonus. There you are. We've got a long time till the game starts, about three and a half to four hours. We're down nice and early. And well, as you can see, there's a lot of Armagh cars already queued out hours before the match starts. Lots of Derry and Arma about. Plenty of buses about as well. We're back here again in Clonus. And once again, there's a lot of people down here. Obviously, and I'd say about an hour even less, or be. I said double even triple more people down here and uh, there is a good dairy support but it looks at it so far it should prove to be an interesting atmosphere lots of people in this beer garden here lots of merchandise out today they've even got prime selling this is the current scene in Clonus, three hours before the Ulster final starts. That is crazy. The amount of people already down. It's going to be some game. Will you look at this? A throne flag instead of a dairy flag. Just they're against Armada today. There's the Anglo Cell Cup, which will be won by either side today later on. Uh, I wish it was an easy answer. I'd love to say Armagh. Uh, I think there's a big, big chance. I think Armagh needs everything to go well for them. Uh, Jerry, maybe you need to pull it back a bit because it's really, really well. If that happens and Armagh get a goal or two, I think Armagh has a chance. We are now officially in St. Chernox Park. First time ever over in the Pat McGrain stand and it definitely does make St. Chernox Park make a lot bigger in my opinion. Find their seats now. And well, our Mal ladies preparing to play in the Ulster Championship as well. Here's our view then for the game. Of course we were over there against Stein in the semis. We're over here now in the Pat McGrain stand. There's about 20 minutes or so until the Arma v Calvin Ladies Ulster also Championships quarter final does begin. And there is a decent crowd failing here in Clonus. There is still about two and a half hours until the Arma Derry game starts. There's the RT putting this up there. Of course, there's Joanne Cantwell, who we saw at the Ireland France game. Our friend from Dublin, Kieran Whelan, of course, there he is there. The glasses. We interviewed him, of course, at the Arma Galway, and then throne legend Peter Ganovan, also part of the pundit lineup today. Both teams are out here now for pitch inspection. That's Derry already out, and Arma, of course, coming out now for the Arma Derry matches. An hour and a half about that until the game does start, and the staff me packing out here. They cry too far in the clonus, but not so much at the other end. 
all time scoring the ladies, 8 14 to 2 7. Arma really destroyed them there in that one. Winning by, I think it was 25 points. That is mental, but now we've got about less than, just less than an hour until the main matches begin. And well, not much, so much again for the, uh, that leaves the Jerry Arthur stand, but the rest of it is pretty packed. Here's both teams then for the Arma Derry match. Look at Arma outside Ray and O'Neill back starting in number 14. Andrew Mern and Connor Turbot, Soupy, Grugan, Jason Duffy, and then at the back line, of course, Ethan Rafferty, Connor O'Neill, Aaron McKay, Forker, Charlie Oak, Greg McCabe, Kieran Mackin, Ben Creeley and Shane McPartland in the midfield, and Jason Duffy also part of the forward line. And then as for Derry, that's a good side there as well. Connor Glass, the captain. I should clarify, it's a Christy McCake was captain in the intro. It's Connor Glass, my bad there. He partners Brandon Rogers in midfield. Shane McGuigan, of course. It's going to be the main man to stop, I do believe. And if we can't stop him, I think we're going to win. Then, of course, Alexa Orton, and she's been good. Chrissy McCake as well. And well, the build ups to the commences here in the bonus. Here and on, he's starting up drills. And I believe the Arma goalkeepers are there now, right as well. We've got the Derry Ultras in behind us on the hill, as you can see. There should be some atmosphere. Hopefully that's the team that wins the Anglo Cell Cup today. There's a dairy team back out now. They do a good support as well. I must give it to them. Two changes on the arm off side. Um, Soupy's not playing, Barry McCambridge is replacing him and James Morgan replaces 
um, Ben Creeley in midfield, so two changes I wouldn't really expect it. Tough to see Soupy uh, not starting his pace, still got a bit of a knock on him to be fair. And I do believe Benny Hearn's also starting now for Derry as well, so that could be big as well. Again, come on, Arma. Gary open the score. There's been right over five minutes gone, and uh, we've struggled so far. Hopefully, we can get our first score here. Derry get penalised for taking late years to take their kick outs. Yeah. Yeah. Up. Yes! Go 
Top came then. It's Derry 1 5, Arma 7 points. Derry lead bay break here, bay 1 point here in the break. So half time then here in Kona, Derry lead bay point at the break. I mean, for the first sort of part of that first half, Derry definitely were the better side. I thought Arma were really poor, we had still with those chances. But then, I was like last 10, maybe 15 minutes of that half, Arma really started to open them up again. We started to have really good, I think we were making better use of the time we had the ball. And of course, Derry have been playing pretty defensive. I don't know what happened that goal by the way, that was a great shenanigans there. But here, at least we're staying with them. Uh, there's still hope here, I do believe we can, can still stay with Derry and we still possibly can win this. Although it is very hard to tell at the moment. We're still in it though, at half time. And uh, we'll see you all there in the second half. There is a Derry side who won the Ulster Championship 25 years ago, back in 1998. Down of the hill. Oh, oh. It's that right there. There it is. A short sit this week. Arma back out. Good to see. This game's still on. It's not over yet. There's Joe Brawley's. Joe Brawley's over there somewhere. Second half begins. Come on, Arma! Oh. Awful start. Could have even been a goal. How's that gone over? Full time, it ends a draw. One ten to four seconds. It's extra time. Extra time begins. Come on, Arma. Time and after time, our Mali by one point. Ten minutes. If we can hold on for ten minutes. We could be those champions. Second half of extra time begins.
worth the penalties. Oh my days, it's going to penalty for game. Remember what happened last time against Golden penalties. But I mean, the really battle with Tars have really dug in and have really earned this penalty shootout. Unlucky not to win it there in extra time. However, let's hope we can end our penalty shootout and redeem ourselves from earlier on last year. Let's hope that we can beat Derry in penalties. Come on, our man, that's the win us do. First penalty, Rian, come on. Come on, Ethan. Save this. Keep us at level. Colin Thomas, I think it is. If we have any chance of winning this, we need to put this in. Number 11, Paul Cassidy steps up. We need to save this. We've made it 1 1. We need to save this. Aidan Nugent to put our man ahead. This ref's doing my head in here. Nugent to put our man ahead. Connor Glass to put Derry ahead again. Ethan's taking this one. We need to keep with them. If we miss this, pretty much we lose. Kieran McFall next. I have to score this. I'm pretty sure, yeah, they win it at the score this. Lads, there you go then. Derry win the Ulster Championship for the second year in the row. And Armagh losing penalties once again. Now, it's a very frustrating way to go out again in penalties after what happened last year against Galway in the All-Ireland quarterfinals. You know, again, like, I mean, we can't, they we have to give credit to Armagh. Of course, they thought we played really good. It's the day after here, most sunburnt. But, you know, we did play really good uh, in the match, I think. Uh, I think we should have probably won it an extra time. Of course, I think we did sort of blow it there. And, of course, in penalties, it was pretty poor there, of course. I mean, we need to fix sort of the penalties because, I mean, that's three shootouts we've lost in a row, of course. Last year, we lost in the McKenna Cup shootout in the semi-finals against Monaghan as well. So, penalty shootout record hasn't been great for Arma, but, look, it, we need to take the positives. That Derry side's really well defensively set up. They're one of the best teams in the country, I would say. And well, the fact that we stuck with them, brought it all the way to penalties, does show that we can be competing against the big sides. It was it was a brilliant atmosphere, definitely brilliant to be at an Ulster final, of course. Two very passionate sets of fans there, and well, I tell you what, it was a brilliant atmosphere. Of course, Derry did play well as well, and they did get the win in the end. Well, like we need to pick ourselves back up here. We're now in a group with Galway, Tyrone and West Meath in the All Ireland uh, group stages. That's going to be an interesting group here. We need to pick ourselves up. First game, I think, at home to Westmead. So it'll be an interesting one there. We need to get back to winning ways. 
and I hope that we can finish this year off strongly in the All Ireland Championship. So that will end it is match day vlog. I hope you enjoy it. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you all for the support on the channel once again. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you all once again in KTFG very, very soon.